Howdy doody everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So over the last few days I've been going down through a lot of rabbit holes, uh, namely trying to get a working copy on my remote cloud server with this bot. Everything's working really good now. Um, and uh, I want to talk about something very critical between how to distribute signals to you, how you can then process those signals, trading signals, be it Forex, crypto, Right now, we're just focusing on crypto, all on Python. And uh, what I wanted to do is to be able to send those signals from you, from my server to you on your desktop or however you want to handle it. And then from there, be able to um, process those as orders into your exchange on uh, the crypto space or in the crypto space I use, Binance, of course. And many options out there. The Best ones is through, I was going to look at building a custom a USB that you would get with a pre-configured OS operating system and all the software's there, you just push a button, ready to go. That's really not, there's a simpler way, I mean, let me show you. So one way to do it is through uh, a, a messaging service like Telegram that we all know about, love and hate sometimes, but you know, it's a good, it's a good it's a good thing, right? So right now I've, I've, I've set up Telegram and it could be somewhat secure. Uh, in my case, what I was hoping to do is just have a client, whoever wants to <clears throat> receive signals, be able to get basically um, a signal uh, through a bot, through a Telegram bot. And uh, this is doable somewhat, but there's a couple of security things I worry about is I need to provide uh, an API token key, uh, which is not a big deal. But when I embed it in the source code in Python, that's exposed. So then people who are nef have nefarious, nefarious purposes in life will try to control the bot and send out crap to other people. So... Doing this can be done. You could probably encrypt the file, the API, and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there's a way to do it. And I thought, okay, great. And then I started looking deeper into it, and I started realizing there's a lot more limitations on the bot capabilities using the Telegram API. And I just started realizing this is not going to go over too well. It's too complicated and too many things to fall apart. Then I thought, okay, why don't I look at something a little better like... Signal, Messenger, another Telegram-like uh, messaging service, open source. So you go under here into the technical developer section here. Here's where it gets really ugly. This is all they provide. Java, C, and JavaScript. Where's Python? No Python. So that was a uh, drop pretty quick as well. And then I thought, oh, why don't I just go with something better like NoSQL, namely Redis SQL or no SQL like I've used all this time. Um, and uh, I thought that'd be great and work great too. But again, it's a, it's a security concern. I got to confirm with my hosting provider. That will work for sure. Uh, but uh, I'm exposing my server to the public, which means hackers will get in. And it's a security breach, which I'm not all that comfortable with. Um, because I know there are a lot of trolls out there that just like to make, be a menace in the world. So that's a security concern on my end. Convenient for you, a pain in the ass for me. So I thought, why don't I just go look at what I've done? So last fall, I've uh, maybe you part around, I don't know, my GitHub here at Quant Labs. I made a project here called Algo Trading Signal with Email. So. This was originally for Forex. That project was uh, abysmal, but I could still take the same code from it and be able to receive a signal from a crypto via um, through email that, that uh, you sign up for. And then from there, you can get your uh, signal from, from within the uh, Python script and then be able to take that, parse it, process it, and then send out an order and trade it automatically and this runs on your desktop um, all you got to do is just configure it to 
your email service, be it Yahoo, Gmail, uh, Hotmail, Outlook, or your own server. This can all be done through IMAP. So once that's completed, you'll be able to receive the signals and then do whatever you want with a signal uh, to trade it uh, to whatever you want to do. Um, so this is where I'm going to go with. This is simpler. It's easier to manage, less code, way, way less security concerns. Uh, it's just easier all around. So what I'm going to do is if you want to be part of the analytics service that I'll be launching fairly quick uh, over at, you can get more information at the Quant Labs. I'll be modifying this this uh, product description so it has a lot more than what will be offered. Um, what will be in there is you will be able to get the, um, let me just find it here, on the catalog, and then look for analytics, which is on the second page, I believe. I'll be removing some of these products because they're irrelevant and uh, just confuse the product up. So we have here, this quant analytics is what I'm referring to. Um, so this service will have a signaling, but you will need to hook it all up with the Python script that you can get through. I'll probably provide it through GitHub or some other way to retrieve it and then modify it for your email server provider as well as uh, trade it and give you example code that will um, process or execute the order with let's say Binance, but then you'll also have to put in uh, your secret token key when you sign up with Binance. On top of that, um, the script will obviously have to be installed on your system. So you'll have to understand how to install Python, download it, install it, which is pretty straightforward for any operating system be able to install pip the package manager to install some required uh, files and then the script itself I just showed you on GitHub this little guy so it's a little little bit of modifying um, but I'll provide all kinds of instructions I've already got videos on it already for Linux I believe Windows as well but I can give you references where to go to get you up and running to get onto this service so that's the only thing to get this up and running so let me repeat that. So you get a script like this, uh, install it with Python on your system and install the packages that are needed. Those could be like these packages right here. Um, time, actually it looks like Watchdog is probably, I don't know. But um, there'll be some required package you'll need to know and have installed and then get your, your email configured as well as your uh, token for your Binance account if you go with Binance the Exchange for the crypto. And that's it. You should be able to get it up and running pretty quick. Other than that, I just wanted to go over this because it's important. People are watching what I do. And uh, email is it. Don't ask me why, but it seems to be the easiest to get uh, these signals out to people and get them processed and then get the orders executed based on that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day. Oh, and also, important stuff. If you want to learn more on what I'm doing here, you can go to quantlabs.net to get your free book, or two books, actually. If you're interested in learning about algorithmic trading, there's a DVD you could get, but we also have an online edition as well. Um, there's that, and specifically, if you want to really learn about going beyond Python, if you go into my uh, QuantLabs shop, QuantLabs.net shop, QuantLabs.shop, you can get this course here, uh, right here, to get that loaded up as well, and that will walk you through end to end on on uh, Python development for custom trading bots in Forex as well as, namely, crypto. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day. We shall talk to you later.